Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this is your fourth and final fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Dexter Jackson, 2020 Mr. Olympia, versus Victor Martinez, 2020 Arnold's Classics. And these two are definitely classics. Victor Martinez, not really known for being uh, the oldest guy on the stage, but in most cases he is. Of course, he wasn't here at the Arnold Classic, Dexter the Blade Jackson was. But anyway, Dexter, 51 years old here, I believe, if I'm not, I'm not mistaken. And Victor Martinez, I believe he was 46 here at the Arnold's Classic. So, I mean, come on, guys. No spring chicken at all. So, it's going to be a pretty fair comparison. Let's begin. Front double bicep. Structurally speaking, Victor Martinez, he has an edge. I mean, muscle for muscle. Also, I would say he has an edge. As far as the lats are concerned, maybe not in the arms. Victor Martinez, good set of arms, but so does Dexter the Blade Jackson. I like Victor's V-taper, of course, superior. But all in all, Dexter looks like he has thinner skin, looks like he's in a little bit better condition. But I think the midsection, I would go with Victor Martinez, and that means a whole heck of a lot in this matchup for sure. I mean, guys, in your late 40s, early 50s, Keep your midsection looking in check. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. These two guys, remarkable. Front lat spread. And I think the structure here of Victor Martinez, probably going to be enough to get a victory. Now, I would say Dexter, probably still. He's in better condition, I think. Thinner skin. I mean, you can't really tell from these pictures. But if you take a really close look, definitely I would say Dexter means more business as far as the conditioning is concerned. But he's not beating him that much to get a victory here. Dexter, with all due respect, probably not the best pose in his repertoire. And Victor Martinez, at 46, 47 years old, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Turn to the side. Now, this is a situation where Victor, yes, he has a bigger, arguably better structure. But Dexter, muscle for muscle, he's much more aesthetically pleasing. He has better condition. You can see that here in the side lag. I mean, muscle separation, much better than Victor Martinez, to take nothing away from uh, the Dominican Dominator. Now, midsections from the side, Dexter the Blade Jackson has a better midsection. From the front, I think his midsection was a little wide, but here from the side, it appears Victor has a thicker, thicker midsection, and Dexter the Blade Jackson, when you look at the pecs of these two, I think he's winning. I think he's winning, for sure. So, coming out of the front two, close, to be honest. Maybe an edge to Victor. Oh, yes, we still have the side tricep. Forget about this. And you know what, guys? Victor Martinez, he was getting an edge, I think, in the front lat spread. I think it was close in the front double. And close in the side chest, uh, an edge to uh, Dexter the Blade Jackson, though. But here in the side tricep, along with the front lat spread, this is just not the best pose for Dexter the Blade Jackson. Maybe earlier on in his career, he had a pretty, actually a pretty darn good side tricep. And his front lat spread, 2001? Huh, mind-blowing. But anyway, guys, take nothing away from the Dominican Dominator, either. I mean, his conditioning looks pretty good from this shot, from this shot. And the tricep itself, definitely beating Dexter the Blade Jackson. So, it's... It's fair game, guys. Could, could be anybody's ball game heading into the back shots. Now here is where Dexter is. He's on another level. And I looked through pictures of these guys, and sizing them was a little bit difficult. Dexter actually stands pretty darn tall in the back shots, and Victor bends the knees a whole lot more. Even though flat foot, I mean back to back, Victor is maybe one, two inches taller. But Dexter, he maximizes his height. Condition-wise, the glutes, Dexter means more business, taking nothing away from Victor Martinez. Like I said, guys, these guys both living legends for sure. Rear double bicep, and Dexter just has, he has it. You know what I'm saying, guys? He He's drawn out perfectly. If you were going to draw out a rear double bicep, I mean, sure, it might have a little bit more thickness to it. But it's going to look just like Dexter the Blade Jackson's. I mean, those lower lat insertions go all the way down. And a, a lot of bodybuilders later on in their career, a la Victor Martinez, it's usually one side creeps up on them. I mean, look at Dennis Wolf. 
A lot of them, guys. A lot of bodybuilders. They lose their back, lower lat insertions, but not Dexter the Blade Jackson. He just laughed at age, and I think he is getting an edge coming out of the two back shots. Go to the ab and thigh, and Victor Martinez, he is making a strong case for himself for a victory in this matchup. A couple of the shots, yes. Dexter is in better condition, the thinner skin, but that midsection of Victor Martinez, I think he kept up the midsection that he had earlier on in his career, maybe thicker, but look at the muscle separation. He's dwarfing uh, Dexter the Blade Jackson in that aspect. And in my opinion, he is getting a victory in the ab and thigh. We are going to finish this one off. And to be honest, guys, this was a close one. I mean, at the Arnold Classic 2020, of course, Dexter defeated Victor Martinez. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. But keep in mind, Dexter was much better at the Arnold's Classics than he was here at the Mr. Olympia. But still, this one you can really see the the conditioning edge that Dexter the Blade Jackson would have. Look at the muscle separation. Look at the thin skin, the vascularity, and those traps. I honestly think, though, guys, if Victor Martinez got a blowout victory in the most muscular, I think it was close enough that he probably would get a victory. But here is your winner, and I'm shocked, guys, it was this close. I predicted, of course... Dexter would win it, but I didn't think it was going to be this close. Victor Martinez, not bad at all. But this is the living legend that won this matchup, Dexter the Blade Jackson. Both, both in both cases, it's their last time ever to compete. I mean, there was never no announcement from Victor Martinez, but I mean, at 47 years old, you really got nothing more to prove. Both living legends, Dexter the Blade Jackson. He is your winner of the fourth and final fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. That was your lineup, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit thumbs up on all of them if you didn't already. Subscribe to the channel. Have a fantastic weekend.